I said I had a Blu-ray haul coming, so here it is. The first one here was a pre-order. I got Hammer Horror, the 8 film collection from Universal. I am a really big fan of the Hammer Horror films from the 50s and 60s. They just have a really nice, rich style about them. So this set includes Brides of Dracula, Curse of the Werewolf, Night Creatures, The Phantom of the Opera, Paranoiac, the Kiss of the Vampire, Nightmare, and The Evil of Frankenstein. Here is another one that I pre-ordered, and that is the brand new Scream Factory Blu-ray of Carrie. For those who don't know, Scream Factory is a really, really cool uh, Blu-ray manufacturing company. Uh, they put out a lot of uh, cult classic horror films, and I was really excited when I heard that they were putting this out. It has really awesome newly commissioned cover art, and then you can take off the cover here, and there is the original poster art. This is a two disc set. It's got the Blu-ray movie and then another Blu-ray for all of the special features. And because I was in a horror film mood, I decided to go to FYE and they had a ton of horror films on sale. So I got a couple more Screen Factory Blu-rays. This one here is Tales from the Crypt Presents Demon Knight, which is a really fun movie. I love Tales from the Crypt. It's one of my favorite shows. So yeah, take off the slip cover and then you have the original cover art there for the poster. And then I also picked up The People Under the Stairs, which is a Wes Craven film. I had never seen this before and I popped it in not really knowing what to expect other than of course it's directed by Wes Craven and he is one of my favorite directors. This is now one of my favorite horror films. I loved this movie. It's just great and the performances are just so over the top and crazy. It also has the original poster art I also picked up X-Men Apocalypse. This is the Best Buy edition steelbook. I also picked up 10 Cloverfield Lane when Best Buy had it for sale for only $9.99. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. I saw this for my birthday when it came out in theaters and it had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. The tension is just, ugh, really gets to me. Great film. I really, really highly recommend this. Also, Amazon was having a sale on Dial M for Murder by Alfred Hitchcock. This was uh, only $10.99, I think. Um, I've never seen this movie, so I am going to be watching this soon. And then I also ordered House of Wax 3D with Vincent Price. This was on sale on Amazon for $7.99. I have owned the DVD for a very long time, and I'm very happy to finally uh, update to the Blu-ray because the Blu-ray transfer is so much better. I also picked up Salem's Lot on Blu-ray. This is based on the book by Stephen King, of course. Um, I've owned the DVD edition of this for so, so long, and the DVD is awful. Um, Salem's Lot is a 70s TV miniseries, uh, so it's just, it's never looked very good. Um, nobody really put any good attention into the, the, the transfer of the movie, uh, but this new Blu-ray is amazing. It completely knocked my socks off. I was not expecting to see such a clear, colorful, beautiful image for this movie. It's it looks gorgeous. And because I got that, I also had to pick up the new Blu-ray of Stephen King's It. I have not watched the entire movie on Blu-ray yet. I only watched like the first half of it. But so far, it looks great. It's a lot better than the DVD edition that I used to have. Also, on Halloween, I went to Best Buy again, and I got the new Steelbook edition of Young Frankenstein. Uh, this was only $9.99. I really love this edition, it's very pretty. Also at Best Buy, I picked up a Nightmare on Elm Street collection. It includes all seven of the original Nightmare on Elm Street films. So you have one, two, three, four, five, uh, Freddy's Dead and Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Um, then you also get a bonus disc with a bunch of special features on it. This was on sale at Best Buy for only $23.99, which is a steal because it's got all the movies and the Blu-ray quality is great. Also from Best Buy, I picked up Army of Darkness. This is another Screen Factory edition. For those who don't know, this is the third movie in the Evil Dead series and it's just a lot of fun. This is a cult classic. This was $26.99 at Best Buy, but I was able to price match it to, I think, Walmart's website, which was $22.99. And then I also had a $5 off coupon, so this only wound up being about $18. Underneath of it here is the original poster art, and this is actually a three disc set. It includes the original theatrical version, the director's cut, and then the TV cut as well. And then I got home from Best Buy and I found Carnival of Souls in the mail. This is the brand new Criterion edition. This is actually my very first Criterion Blu-ray that I've ever bought. I don't know why I've put off buying these for so long, maybe because they're a little bit expensive, um, but Carnival of Souls is one of my favorite classic 
uh, B horror films. It is extremely atmospheric and very unsettling in some ways. This movie is from 1962. Um, I have always watched this on public domain. Uh, the transfer has never been good. It's been so, so bad. But this new Criterion transfer, it's in 4K. It's beautiful. It's like so crystal clear. Also, I was at FYE yet again, and I found Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the 25th anniversary Blu-ray edition. This was on sale for $6.99. So I decided to replace my DVD and get this one. And then I also found the new Blu-ray Steelbook edition of Christmas Vacation because Christmas is coming up and it's a must. You have to watch this during Christmas time. So that is all for this Blu-ray haul. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Goodbye.